Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Happy, uh, summer grinding if you're going through the summer camp. Uh, I'm here to talk about the Part 3 banner before it comes out. So, this when this event came out, it was the 12th, even though after the maintenance started on the 12th, and then we didn't actually start the event till the 13th, but because technically the event started on the 12th, that means a week from now is when we would be getting the banner, so that would be the 19th. So, this is, I'm going to be talking about it. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. Helps out the channel a whole bunch. Helps me out. You can subscribe to me if you want some more me stuff. And also, you can leave down below how you plan to summon for him or not. This is actually a very funny banner, fun, funny enough. So, let's go. So, if you don't know, part three is going to be Summer Abbey, Summer Tomoe, and Summer Murasaki Shikabu. And then I think it features both the CEs for the men and the women. So you have a chance of getting Innocent Blue, Climbing Battle, and Barbecue Buddies if you did not summon on this banner right here. Okay, so we're going to start with the 5-star, which is Abby. So before I get into anything, I'll, I'll just get start, started right into it. So yeah, Abby, she is a foreigner, of course. She has two quicks, one arts two busters with uh, three hits on quick, three hits on arts, three hits on busters, and five on quick. Five on quick. Five on extra. <laughs> uh, our first skill is Sleep Inducing Roses. Inflict sleep status for two turns to one enemy. Similar to stun, unlike stun, the status will be removed from the target gets attacked. Remove their buffs. Reduces their defense for one attack. Two turns when the sleep uh, uh, status is active. The defense minus is 50% which is pretty big. Mass Hysteria, B+. Inflicts Terror status for one time, three turns, all enemies activates when the debuff below every turn. When activated, 500% chance to stun them for one turn, reduce their defense for three turns. 55% activation chance, and the defense is 20% minus. Third skill, the one who guides A. Charges own NP gauge, increases his own debuff success rate by 30% for three turns, reduces one enemy's bust resistance for three turns. And that is 50% uh, NP from this, and 30% Buster Resistance. Passive skills are Existence Outside of the Domain EX, gains 2 crit stars every turn, increases her own debuff resistance by 12%, Insanity B+, increases her own Buster Performance by 9%, Divinity B+, increases her own damage by 185 her third append skill is a bonus to Avengers. And her noble phantasm is Dreamlands, the faraway land of dreams, removes all enemy defensive buffs, which include uh, these right here, and then deals damage to them, reduces their defense for 3 turns, which is 20%, their damage is 300% at level 1, and then 500% if you get it all the way to NP5 somehow. So, Summer Abbey, this is a tough one, because I remember when she released... So I think there's a an ex there's a problem with Summer Abbey in which I think people feel like she's not strong enough. Um, the reason being is that of course she has a AOE, <laughs> she does AOE damage while being a foreigner, and then she doesn't really have a lot of things to buff herself up. She has stuff like sleep, and she has ways to lower their defense, but it ends up being. But she doesn't really have something that would be like a Buster kind of gorilla mindset. Like, Buster Resistance is nice, but you kind of need, at least in the current state of NA, you kind of need the ability to kind of go with crit star chance or give you give yourself more crit damage, something like that. Something like that. So at the, for the time being, when she's going to release, she's going to be very weak. And the thing is, is that I don't actually think she gets any better even with the release of further Buster units. The reason being is that she was the first unit to kind of have this sleepy buff, uh, which inflicts sleep. Um, I don't think uh, there's only one other unit that has this, and they use it very differently from the way she uses it. So, yeah, I remember thinking that she was maybe a little bit underpowered, and I feel like they haven't really changed her that much. And I think the people who like Summer Abbey would in the same breath say I think it would be nice if she kind of got a buff as well. I think she's kind of in this weird place. If you know any different, I would love to hear it. But as far as I was aware of, the last I heard of Summer Abbey is that she needs a buff. She's not strong enough. And I feel like that was <laughs> said and it hasn't really changed. There hasn't been like a big comeback. Like for example, when Sherazade got um, 
uh, when Castoria came out, people were like, actually, Sherazade's skill set is amazing with this new meta. Uh, I didn't hear anything like that for Summer Abbey, even though in theory this skill, which is on 6 turn cooldown, would actually work well with um, the two uh, Tamamos, uh, two Vitches. So I don't know, yeah. I, I know it's a bummer thing to say, I really don't know much about it. I know Abby is very uh, well liked and stuff like that, so if you're going to be summoning for her, you should already know all this, and you should also know that it doesn't matter to you, so it's fine. <laughs> I wish you all the best of luck regardless, and I hope that one day she kind of gets a buff. And again, if you have a specific... It's a real shame. The only person I've ever seen defend Summer Abby was my friend Lerp, and he has her NP5. So it's not like I can actually, like, get any good information from him. <laughs> <laughs> Most people will have her NV1, not NV5, but whatever, it's Abby. If you like Abby, you're going to be getting this unit regardless, so... <sighs> the best of luck to you on that. But let's move on to the next two units. We got Tamal Gozen. Tamoy. Here she is, Summer Tamoy. First skill, Midnight of Summerside A. Grants self-gut status one time, three turns. Increases on crit damage for three turns. 500% chance to grant self Nighthawk. Delayed debuff for three turns. Nighthawk, 500% chance to stun self for one turn for after three attacks. Rise with 3,000. 100% crit damage up. Uh, VR Sh uh, Shinkage Ryu, B+. Increase own arts performance for one turn. Increase own crit star absorption for arts cards for one turn. It's 30% and then it's 500% and this is on a four turn cooldown. And then we have survival countryside B+. Gain crit stars. Gain crit stars every three turns for three turns. Grant self debuff immunity for one time five turns. 25 crit stars. And then it's 10 after and it's on a six turn cooldown. Her passive skill are magic resistance A and writing B+. Increase own quick performance for 9%. Increase on debuff of resistance by 20%, and if we look at her kit, she has two arts, one quick, two busters, it's a four hit quick, three hits, arts, two buster, and four extra. Uh, her third skill here is a bonus to alter egos, and her noble phantasm is arts, increases own buster performance for one, uh, by 20%, increases own arts performance for 20%, arts and buster by 20% once. Deals damage to all enemies, inflict burn for a hundred, uh, by a thousand damage for five turns. Inflict spread of fire status for five turns, increase burn damage on them. Burn damage rate is up 100%, she deals 450% damage, and then at 600%, 675, 712, 750, and there we go. And yeah, from what I remember of Tomoe, from again, for people who have used her, she's it seems a little bit weird because when you look at the, the the buff, it doesn't seem like it's too amazing. But it's fine because she's arts and she's a quick, uh, not art, um, she's not a quick, she's an AoE unit for arts who is also the saber class. So she can get a lot of backing from um, Castoria. So she ends up being fine. Three hits isn't a lot, but if you know what you're doing, she should be able to do what you want, which is to loop around. So not too bad, not too bad at all. I really like this Tomoe. And from what I remember, again, another friend using her. I mean, I really wish I could have gotten her on JP. I really tried. <laughs> I was unable to do it. I failed multiple times. I am going to be trying for her here, but from what I know, she should be good enough to go. So, no real issues on that front. But also, doesn't seem like anything is popping off too much for me right here. If you know a little bit more, feel free, feel free to tell me. But she seems pretty good. And you will, you, for what is you would use her for, which is uh, farming, she does fantastic at that. So, next unit, and the final unit, Murasaki Shikabu. There she is. First skill, Summer Knight Black Widow EX. Chance to steal enemies NP for one turn, reduce their defense for three turns. Oh, I should remember. Two quicks, two arts, one buster. Four hits, four hits, two hits, four hits. Uh, chance to steal one enemy NP for one turn, reduce their defense for three turns. 100% NP steal chance, 30% defense. Second skill, Bizarre Hobby Summer C++. 500 chance to... Reduce one enemy's debuff resistance for one turn, seal their skills for one turn, reduce their arch resistance for one turn, 100% and 30%. Third skill, Literary Maiden Summer A, charges on MP gauge every turn for three turns, grants crit stars, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 
20%. Uh, writing B+, increases on quick performance for not by 9%. Her third append skill is a uh, uh, bonus damage against alter egos, and her noble phantasm is an arts, with three hits, deals damage to one enemy, 60% chance to reduce her MP gauge by one, reduced her arch resistance for three turns, and there we go, and it deals 900% damage at level one, and then 1,500% if you can get her to MP5 somehow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I really, I've, I think out of the batch of them, I actually like uh, Murasaki the most, mainly because it's Murasaki. She is single target focused, and uh, she does have a lot of abilities that would be nice for specifically challenge quests. The idea of like you're fighting one enemy, not challenge quests, but basically like boss fights, where you're sealing the enemy for one turn, where you're making it so they can't use their skills for a single turn. And then they're also reducing their arch resistance for a turn. And then if you're using her with two Castorias, you're basically looping at that point. You're dealing damage, you're reducing their NP gauge, you're dealing a lot of damage, but you're also giving them arch resistance. So if you can do that three times in a row, by the end of it, they should have a 60%. Well, depending on when you use this, they could in theory have 90% arch resistance for a single turn. I actually don't know if this overcharge uh, applies first. Sometimes they do, but usually when they do that, they tell you, hey, apply this first. So this makes me feel like it applies after the NP, but I don't know 100% on that one. If you actually know, feel free to tell me on that one. <laughs> but yeah, I really like her. Uh, the only thing that's a bummer is this passive skill is 9% quick performance to quick arts, and she has two quick, so that's nice, but it's, you know, not the greatest, the not the greatest passive skill in the world for an arts unit, but you know, whatever, it's fine. So yeah, those are the units. Funny enough, it's really going to depend on how much you like these characters and that you're going to be summoning them. None of them really pop out as a way to say like, they are the top, not like, not like Kiara. I'm not like Kiara status going, oh my god, so crazy broken. Thank you for fixing her, by the way. Very much appreciated on that front. Um, but they're all solid in different ways. Abby is the only one where I feel like she could definitely use a buff. Um, and if you are in disagreement with that, I'd love to hear your reasons why. But I've, it's my understanding, even people who like Abby think that Abby should get a buff of some kind. Because it's not enough for what is essentially a 5-star summer unit. These are usually a pretty big deal, and they're usually built to kind of last. Even the ones that have gotten an above so far, it's to their skill that makes the most sense. Like BB, it was to help with her damage a little bit. And with, um... Um... Summer... <laughs> Summer Saber Bunny, uh, Artoria. It was to kind of make that skill just a little bit better. To make it a little bit more unique, because it was kind of very generic to have on a 5-star, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. And now that some other five-star Summer Sing units have gotten in buffs, I feel like it's only a matter of time for Abby to get hers down the road, and hopefully that helps it helps with the damage, because I think really it's mainly the damage thing and not trying to get it right. It's very hard to be an AoE foreigner. Um, I don't think there's very much of them, to be honest. Let me look, just to be 100% sure on it. Yeah, it's kind of like... The ones that aren't, like, Voyager is very good at like looping but he kind of has the stuff to like for example with his aoe stuff he specifically has buffs to kind of make his quick performance better and to kind of make up for the fact that he's not going to have class advantage over most of the dudes um van gogh i think is in the same way where she kind of buffs herself and uh hokusai is in i think the same direct no she she crazy debuffs them that's what i remember so yeah abby kind of needs something a little bit more Again, that's, a, that's my basic feeling on it. If you feel any different, I would love to hear. But yeah, that's the end, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you guys the best of luck when you do decide to summon. And I'll be sure to summon at the same time. Hopefully, I am able to get them to. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Till next time, everyone. You guys have a good day. Peace out.